my suspects. Yes, I go to author events alone. Anyway, John Hodgman was in Brookline on his book tour. And of course, being the dutiful fangirl I go. Now, John Hodgman is originally from Brookline, and as such, he has a large section reserved for his friends and family in the theater. And being the nosy creeper that I am, I sit behind the large section. Suspects? All of them had to be the most adorable people I have ever seen. They all spoke with such an excitement and pride that can only be compared to the feeling you get when your favorite character in a TV show makes a smart decision. So many gold stars. Of course, John Hodgman's talk was full of delightful prose that was equal parts poignant and surreal. Afterwards, when I was going to wait in line to get my book signed, I see this older man with these extremely bright blue eyes and a sharp nose, all of which contrasted with his stark white hair. And he stands and he says, that's my son. So much pride that I feel very jealous. And he stands there with such a large smile on his face that it makes, it makes me wonder whether my own parents could be that proud of me. So I guess in order to have success in anything, be it entertainment, business, or Canadian folk, you have to have a lot of talent and probably more inconspicuously people who really believe and support you. It's probably the most idealistic you'll ever see me get. Anyway, I wait in line to get my book signed and as I approach him, I just, I just want to thank him for making so many things that I really enjoy and making me laugh so much. But of course, I don't know how to talk to humans. So I say, oh my God, did you see how proud your father was of you? He was all like, that's my son! To which John Hodgman replied, my father speaks in a Southern accent. Then I awkwardly say, I listen to your podcast at work and it makes my work so much better. And he says, thank you, that's very kind. And I walk quickly away with my sign book in hand, wandering back to my room through the now street lamp lit roads of Brookline, wondering why every impression I do of someone always just winds up sounding like a smug clique.